but it's the one that all young people are facing at the moment because of the government's attacks. They're trying to make us work longer for less, and in some cases without any pay at all through slave labour workfare schemes. We're here on Hackney Marshes in East London, one of the Olympic boroughs uh, today to hold uh, the You Fight for Jobs first uh, austerity games. Uh, 24 billion has been spent on the Olympics, but there's no lasting benefit for ordinary young people in London or anywhere else uh, in, the, in the country. So the people here down at the austerity games uh, today, the people that love the Olympics, want to see the events, can't afford to go. So they've come down to participate, compete uh, and win a gold medal uh, at the austerity games, highlighting all the issues affecting uh, young people, unemployment, housing, fees, EMA uh, and uh, youth services. And to top it all off, the disgusting bankers team did not even race the correct way down the track because they're uh, being bailed out and looked after by their friends in the government. They actually raced the opposite direction, raced to the top um, with no difficulty whatsoever. Um, so I'm afraid I'm going to have to disqualify the bankers team. So it's organised by the uh, Youth Fight for Jobs campaign. We're demanding that the billions uh, that's being uh, wasted on the bankers, uh, on big businesses, the 750 sitting in the banks of big businesses at the moment shouldn't uh, be sitting idle like that. It should be used uh, to invest in jobs and services uh, for ordinary young people, for the people that need it. And if big business is refusing to invest that cash pile wealth that uh, they've got, wealth that we created, then we should be nationalising those banks uh, and companies and investing that money ourselves.